I rewatched WrestleMania 31, and these are my thoughts on every match now being in 2024. The show kicks off with a bang with an Intercontinental title ladder match between Daniel Bryan, Wade Barrett, who's a defending champion, Stardust, R Truth, Dolph Ziggler, Luke Harbour, and Dean Ambrose. Which Dean Ambrose was put through a ladder. I'll show you the picture now. Luke Harper powerbombed him through a ladder. He did he was really good in this match, Dean Ambrose. Jumping off a ladder here. Had a bunch of great spots in this match. But the the final result, which I thought was pretty perfect, returning from a, a neck uh injury, which he had to get surgery for. Daniel Bryan picking up the win here. And I think I'm definitely kicking off WrestleMania with a great win and a great match. Let's go to the next match. Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins. Authority. Randy Orton got kicked out of the authority, so they got into a rivalry. This match was actually very good. Definitely, without that big curb stomp into the RKO, I don't know if it would be that good, but I like when Randy Orton hit his signature move, the DDT off the apron onto the floor to J and J security. It's pretty cool. And the result being Randy Orton. I had nothing to say about this match, really. It was just one of those matches. Pretty good. Now I get to a match. I personally love this match, but the result just is horrible. Because this was Sting's first WrestleMania. Listen, the match was awesome. The DX and NWO scene was awesome. The attacking each other was pretty cool. But the result of this match was just horrible. The way they gave Triple H the win, no. Triple H technically being the heel of this rivalry, I don't think he should have got the win. And this was Sting's first and only WrestleMania. So that's why I think Sting should have beat Triple H. And even Scott Hall was very angry with this decision because he did not even know that Triple H was going to beat Sting. Now we have AJ Lee and Paige versus the Bella Twins. This was... I think... I think no complaints about this match. I think this match was actually very good, in my opinion. Pretty good match. Uh, no complaints, like I said before. Uh, AJ Lee and Paige, result is, of the win. AJ Lee picking up the win for the for their team. I mean, there's nothing to really say about this match. Like, Randy Orton set Rollins. It was a good match. I liked it when I rewatched it, so. I even forgot it happened, but, uh. Rusev versus John Cena. Now, this is an underrated match for WrestleMania. I A lot of people do remember it, though, as one of the best matches WrestleMania 31. The, the near falls, close wins by both men. The way it ended was perfect, and the result was also perfect with John Cena picking up the U.S. title win. Now it's time for a break. Authority comes out. Rock confronts them with none other than a future wrestler in the WWE. Ronda Rousey sitting front row with actually Shayna Baszler right next to her. Two two for, uh, future wrestlers and former UFC fighters sitting front row. And former tag partners in the WWE, which is pretty cool. That It's funny how nobody at this time knew that they would be future wrestlers. And there you go, just a couple years later. This is a match that kind of disappointed me with The Undertaker recently losing... To the to Brock Lesnar the year prior, so obviously you can you want to make him strong again. He did pick up the win over Bray Wyatt, but I just I don't know this. The build up was pretty bad because Undertaker wasn't there for most of it, and Bray Wyatt just he was up mostly there for the build up. But it wasn't that bad. But probably one of the worst matches of the night in my opinion. And now it's time for the main event. The match where people thought Roman Reigns is about to dethrone Brock Lesnar for the World Heavyweight Championship. That's what we all thought. But with the um, the craziest F5s over and over again, Roman Reigns kept kicking out. The Spears, Lesnar kept kicking out. Close falls, Lesnar cut open. It was a great match. And then Rollins cashes in. He hits a curb stomp to Brock Lesnar. He hits a curb stomp on Roman Reigns. And then walks out of WrestleMania 31 with the WWE World Heavyweight Championship.